Welcome to part two of lesson one for Blythe Academy's MHF for you. And they really emphasize something in lesson one called mapping. Now, mapping is just another way to show what values you can put into and get out of a function. This is the map for y equals x plus 2, which you might recognize as just a line. You're allowed to plug in any number you want for x here. You can plug in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, it doesn't matter. It could be a fraction. And when you plug negative 2 in for x, you get 0 out for y because negative 2 plus 2 gives 0. 0 plus 2 gives 2. 2 plus 2 gives 4. And it goes on like this. On the left, we have all the inputs or all the values of x that you're allowed to plug in. On the right, we have all the y values that you can get out. And I guess when I say all, I'm using that term uh, generously. I wouldn't call it all of them, but examples of x that you're allowed to plug in and examples of the y values that you get out. And we draw an arrow to say that when you plug negative 2 in, you get 0 out. Now, here's another map. Negative 2 gives 0. Negative 1 gives 1. 0 gives 2. 1 gives 3. 2 gives 4. That's the exact same as this. But there's an extra arrow here. 0 not only gives 2, but 0 also gives 3. What that means to me is that this input, this x value of 0, is giving me two y values. The reason I'm including that here is that this is the map for something that is not a function, because that is an example of an x value that gives two y values out. That's the definition of not a function. And lastly, I want you to help me create the map for y equals x squared. Now this is actually super easy, so relax. Negative 2 squared is what? 4. So we draw an arrow from negative 2. If your pencil or pen works, we draw a line from negative 2 all the way down to 4. And that's it. Negative 1 squared gives positive 1. So we draw an arrow that way. 0 squared gives 0. 1 squared also gives 1. 2 squared also gives 4. And we're done. This is the map for y equals x squared. This is a function because each of these x values only has one arrow going away from it. It doesn't matter that 4 is a y value for more than one x. What determines whether or not something's a function is whether or not each x value can lead to more than one y. Pretty straightforward, hopefully. I'm not exactly sure what kind of questions Blythe is going to ask about mapping, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll take a look at the assignment. And actually, uh, that's it for lesson one. Hopefully that was instructive for you, and uh, best of luck.